changing the drive sprocket over for this MS192. It has a 3 8 low pro drive sprocket on there. And uh, that's the standard that a lot of chainsaws come with. Some of these smaller chainsaws seem to have like an inboard sprocket. So you can see the chain sits in down but in there. To run quarter pitch chain and this uh, dime tip bar, which has got a very small nose, we need to change this drive sprocket over to quarter inch pitch. This is an inboard drive sprocket. It's a bit of a pet hate of mine to change them. It means a bit of fiddling about. So first of all, we need to find out where the spark plug is. Taking the air filter off, which will now come off. Okay, that looks like the spark plug there, which really does look a pain to get to. So I'm going to try another method here. Which is, uh, I can see, you see I've got a nut there to go on. So I'm going to put uh, just an impact socket on that. Um, Bear in mind it's a reverse thread, so I'll be doing it clockwise to see if I can shock this, this off. There you go, and actually he's come off quite nicely. So now we can take that off. We can now get to that. So that's the sprocket I've taken off. That's the sprocket I'm putting on. So you can see that's got eight teeth. And this has got six. Oh, so the joys of uh, getting the drive sprocket right. So for the MS192, you have to actually change this insert as well because that actually sits in there like that. So if we go back here, place that, start bearing. See he's down in there now. Turn that on. Tighten it up. So this chain here is uh, the reason I wanted to change the quarter pitch. It's what's it's the Oregon full feature chain, and you can see it's got consecutive cutting teeth. Uh, the reason for this is it doesn't sort of dig into the wood so much, and you can uh, you can play with it and use it for hollowing things out. So I've now put the bar and chain back on. I've got a new. Uh, Sugihara dime tip. Uh, it's a 12 inch bar, it's probably the most versatile length bar. A uh, chain tension on a carving bar. At the moment, that's more like a normal sort of chain tension that's on there. Um, I'm just going to run that up a bit first though, because we might find that that, well, I've just put that bar and chain on, that'll slacken off anyway, so we'll just see how that runs up. So actually, you can see that t chain tension has come off, so uh, that is probably about right really. I, don't, I tend to have the chain sort of, not so it's hanging down here somewhere, but just so that it's sort of loose. And when you're looking at, um, you can sort of see the chain there is uh, the Oregon full feature chain. And when you see the chain going round the tip, quarter pitch chain, that will actually make that turn nicely round a dime tip. Okay, so we're ready to uh, do some carving with it.
see here that I'm making a uh, series of bowls. I tend to do the main first cross, cross hatching with a larger saw, only like still on a 3C5 chain. But you can see here where I've used that uh, full feature chain, it does make it easier so that instead of pulling the saw down and into the cut, it tends to sort of sit on top and you can then sort of just almost work it away, work away what's there till you get that sort of nice, nice sort of uh, finished dappled surface.